Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm gonna make a really quick, simple video of a request that I got more than once. And for you guys who are watching my channel on Society6, Bots and Apps has a tool about Society6 or it uses Society6. So if you go to botsandapps.com, you scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down. This is the tool here, it's called the Society6 Tag Grabber. I didn't make a video on this tool because it's actually a very simple tool and it's very self-explanatory, very easy to use, but I figured I'd make a, tool, a video on it now. The video, the tool has been around for, I don't know, four plus months, five months, something like that. It's been around for a really long time. Um, but anyways, the way the tool works is really simple. It doesn't do any kind of magic that's unseen. Basically, what it does is just makes my life a little bit easier by being able to copy and paste tags. As you guys know, I have virtual assistants that English is not their first language. So it makes it very easy for me to just explain to them different things of how to use tools. And they simply just do copying and pasting in some scenarios. For me, I like to challenge myself. I like to find different examples of different tags that work. And I, and I really time, sometimes sweat it. But this process makes it a little bit easier once again. So the way this tool works is very, very simple. Let's say I'll go into a niche like fish. And I'll hit search on the keyword fish. Right. First of all, let me clear this. Because I don't want fish framed art. I just want fish as an example. Okay. So let's go ahead and type in fish. Let's type in enter. And let's get the results. So the way this would work is that if I had a virtual assistant working for me and I want to make things easy for him. I don't want him to know background information about fish. I don't want him to waste my time. And the reason why I say waste my time is because I'm paying right per hour. So I don't want them to waste my time uh, for them trying to think of different keywords. The tool makes it a lot easier. So I'll tell them go to a segment like this and I actually have it in video form. So I don't tell it to them each in person, but I have a video that will tell them go to a segment like this that is related to what you're uploading, right? So if we're uploading fish type content for that day, then what they'll do is they'll go ahead and they'll hit the settings button and they'll select how many results they'll scrape for. So in this example, we can scrape for 10 results, for example. And so what it will do is it will just copy all the tags on these 10 different items. So from this item, all the way to this item, it will create the first the first 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And it will take all the different keywords from there. So since I set it here to um, 10, okay, or yeah, 10 search results, and I'll let the delay in between each item be half a second, right? So, uh, excuse me, delay per product, half a second, 500 milliseconds. And then I'm just going to close this out, and I'm just going to hit get tags in, or excuse me, get tags in search results. I'll click this and I'll just wait and I'll, and I'm explaining to them why this is important. So they'll sit back and wait and then they'll get results, right? So it says here tags gotten 124 tags. So they can now pick through 124 different tags for a specific design. Now, what I do recommend for them is this, the bucket strategy. I've shown the bucket strategy before. We use the bucket strategy for different sites, but what this works is just find different keywords related to the actual art and then double search. So for example, if my art has to do with trout and I've already searched for the keyword fish, it's probably a good idea for me to search for trout as an example, right? I would copy that list by the way, and I would put it in a notes or something like that. Something that I could access later. I would hit this trout button and I would hit search for trout. Okay. And once again, I do not want any framed art prints. That's my fault. I clicked on that. I don't want any framed art prints. I just want the word trout. Okay. And because of that, now I can go ahead and perform a search, right? So I'll go to the tool. I'll go here, maybe select, let's say I don't want 10 items. Let's say I want five items. Okay. I'll go ahead and close this down and I'll hit get tags in search results. And it will do that for the first five results. So these four plus this one, and it will get me those keywords. And of course, that's going to be a little bit less. We have 68 keywords. I'll take these keywords, put them under the trout list, and then I can access that in the future. And the reason why I tell them to do that is because once again, um, I don't want any spelling errors, any kind of simple errors that can hurt my sales long term. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking an investment by hiring the virtual assistant, giving them the artwork, and then telling them to upload it. My investment is the money, obviously, that it costs to A, produce the artwork and have them on the clock. Okay. Also the tool, the tool cost 
uh, something like $12 or $13, something like that. Um, by the way, if you want a discount, use called autopilot. You can get a discount on the tool. Um, but basically my investment is threefold. I have to pay for the tool. I have to pay for the virtual assistant. I have to pay for the actual images to be created. Then what I want them to do is with those images and in order to reap my investment, I have to make sure I get sales and I don't want to fall to the, to the circumstance of bad spelling or anything like that. So, and I also want speed, right? That's what I prefer. So what I'm going for is I'm giving them these, these tools, they can perform lists of keywords. And I actually inform them to do this. I tell them, create the lists first before you upload, then pull from the lists keyword by keyword by keyword. And that will make life a little bit easier, you know, down the road and make your job faster. Okay. Um, and that's my goal is speed, efficiency, and success. Because if I can do that, then I can hire them out. I can give them consistent tasks and basically they can earn money consistently. And more importantly, it pays me later down the road, which is what I'm, I'm going for, what I'm shooting for. And, you know, sometimes with Society6, you can get a sale a week down the road. Sometimes it could be three months down the road. But regardless, I like Society6 because the revenue per sale is significantly higher than some other sites like Redbubble, like Zazzle, excuse me, not Eh, not true, depending on what product you sell on Zazzle, but definitely like TeePublic. It's a lot higher than TeePublic. It's a lot higher than most of Redbubble products. Um, you know, so overall, it's not too bad. If you're selling even digital products on Etsy, your your revenue could potentially be higher. Obviously, it depends how built out your Redbubble, uh, your Etsy store is. But Society6 is one of those sites that kind of gets pushed to the side a little bit. But um, the revenue per sale is significantly higher from what I find profit wise, uh, you know, than, than other sites, which is a huge blessing, huge benefit. So that's kind of my approach on it. I make life easy, super simple. It's just an investment that I make. And I kind of put that to the side and see, see how it all works out. All right, guys. So hopefully this video helps. I know I had a request on this video, maybe like 20 times at least, um, which is not that much really considering that it's been out for a few months now. So that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.